Quantitative polymerase chain reaction, or qPCR, is crucial in molecular biology for quantifying nucleic acids. It allows scientists to measure the amount of DNA or RNA in a sample with high precision and accuracy. Melt curve analysis is a powerful tool for ensuring the specificity of qPCR amplification. It helps in distinguishing between specific and non-specific amplification products, which is vital for accurate data interpretation. This analysis exploits the unique melting temperature of double-stranded DNA molecules. Each DNA sequence has a characteristic melting temperature, which can be used to identify and differentiate between different sequences. By monitoring fluorescence changes during DNA denaturation, researchers can identify non-specific products or primer dimers. This ensures that the results are reliable and that the target sequence is accurately quantified. Melt curve analysis is essential when using DNA binding dyes like Cybr Green to verify that the fluorescence signal originates solely from the target amplicon. This step is crucial for confirming the purity and specificity of the amplified product, ensuring the integrity of the experimental results. Specificity in qPCR is the ability to amplify only the target DNA sequence, ensuring that the results are accurate and reliable. Non-specific amplification can arise from primer mispriming, primer dimers, or homologous sequences, which can lead to false positives or inaccurate quantification. Melt curve analysis assesses qPCR specificity by examining the melting profile of amplified products, providing a detailed insight into the purity of the amplification. Double-stranded DNA denatures at specific temperatures, dictated by GC content and length, which helps in identifying the unique characteristics of the DNA sequence. During melt curve analysis, the temperature is gradually increased and fluorescence is monitored, allowing for the detection of any non-specific products. By plotting the rate of change of fluorescence against temperature, a characteristic melt curve is generated, which can be used to confirm the specificity and efficiency of the qPCR reaction. Most modern real-time PCR instruments can perform melt curve analysis. The process involves amplification with a DNA binding dye, high temperature incubation to denature DNA and gradual cooling. As the temperature decreases, fluorescence is continuously monitored. The instrument records fluorescence readings at various temperatures. A melt curve is generated by plotting the negative derivative of fluorescence against temperature. Interpreting melt curves, peaks, shapes and specificity. A single, well-defined peak at the expected melting temperature indicates specific amplification. Multiple peaks suggest non-specific products or primer dimers. Each peak represents a distinct double-stranded DNA species with a different melting temperature. A shoulder or broad peak can indicate minor non-specific products or partially degraded DNA. Assumptions and limitations of melt curve Analysis Melt curve analysis assumes similar lengths and GC content for target and non-specific products. Significant differences can affect accuracy. It cannot differentiate between DNA sequences with very similar melting temperatures. Low abundance non-specific products may not be detected if they constitute a small fraction of the total amplified DNA. Troubleshooting discrepancies in melt curve results. Ensure primers are specific to the target sequence and do not have significant homology to other genome regions. This helps in reducing off-target amplification and increases the accuracy of your results. Primer dimers can form if the primer concentration is too high. Optimizing concentration can help. It's crucial to find the right balance to avoid non-specific binding. A lower annealing temperature can increase primer mispriming. Increasing it can improve specificity. Fine-tuning the temperature settings is essential for reliable results. Gel electrophoresis can visually confirm amplified products and identify non-specific bands. This step is vital for verifying the integrity of your PCR products. Adjusting these parameters can help resolve discrepancies in melt curve results. 
Consistent monitoring and tweaking of these variables ensure the accuracy and reliability of your experiments. Conclusion The importance of melt curve analysis in qPCR Melt curve analysis ensures the specificity of qPCR assays, especially with intercalating dye based detection. It identifies non specific products or primer dimers, ensuring accurate quantification. Understanding melt curve analysis principles and limitations empowers researchers to perform reliable qPCR experiments, yielding accurate results.